Hey, Ashley Strong from Light, Love & Spirit here. I want to talk to you today about what we're doing here. All of us, what I'm doing here, why I'm making this video for you. I've known for a long time that my purpose here is something big. I've never known what it is, I've felt it though. I've gotten the same message in multiple readings throughout the years um, from different, different mediums, from different practitioners. I've gotten almost identical messages and that is they see me in front of an audience speaking and helping, but no one ever gives me what that is, what I'm doing, why I'm there and to be honest, I have a fear of public speaking. So while I've always known this message was meant for me, it didn't always click or resonate. And to be honest, I've got this vision myself and I've never known what it's for. Sometimes in this space, in this spiritual space where I've suddenly found that I'm I'm teaching people how to connect with spirit and and I say suddenly it's obviously happened over the years but this isn't where I plan to be. I didn't plan to shout to the world that I was a medium. I didn't plan to be a medium. I didn't plan to live a life that is completely aligned with spirit because when I'm out of it I feel like I'm not me. And I just, I didn't come from a background where this was a thing or talked about or accepted. And sometimes I just still pinch myself. I'm like, where am I? Who am I? And so sometimes I question, is this who I'm meant to be? Am I on the right path? Am I, am I really doing this thing? Am I meant to really do this thing? Imposter syndrome steps in often. Imposter syndrome is when we're going about our business and all of a sudden we feel like we're living somebody else's life. We feel like we're not good enough. We feel like we're an imposter. And it happens to all of us in many different forms. But for me, I always get validation that I'm in the right spot doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And it always comes in divine timing. Every time I ask my spirit team if I'm where I'm supposed to be, doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I get three to five emails thanking me for what I'm doing, telling me I have this gift. And to me, you guys, it's just normal at this point. It's just day to day. And to get those messages is so humbling because I remember how sacred this work is and how a, a seemingly small message to me helps somebody heal years worth of wounds. And I'm not sitting here trying to, um, you know, like, lift myself up for you. I'm here to tell you that I am just like everybody else and I question who I am and what I'm doing and if I'm good enough all the time. But because I am aligned with my spirit team, I also get that validation or I get direction. And that's what happened today, about 10 minutes ago. And that's why I'm making this video, this very impromptu, open, vulnerable video because I sat in meditation and I was just calling in the light. It was no, you know, there was no intention for the meditation. I let go of all expectation. I just felt very called to go meditate. And um, it was actually by a colleague, Melanie Beckler. Um, she has the website Ask Angels and it was an angel meditation. And at the end, she just says, allow yourself to receive a vision for your next steps. And at first I'm like straining, looking for a vision and being the teacher that I am, I know that's not what you do. So I backed off and I just took a deep breath and all of a sudden I got it. And it's like everything for the past couple of years just came into alignment. My job here is yes, it's to deliver spiritual messages. Yes, it's to help people open up to their intuition, to their intuitive side, because especially as we go into this next new year, the energies are gonna get intense and we all need to be vibrationally prepared for that. But I'm not even talking woo-woo today. Today, I realize that my job, my purpose here is to help people see 
their full potential. It's just, I'm kind of, I'm taken aback because I've had all these little breadcrumbs, all these pieces over the years that have, have led me to the seat that I'm in today from corporate America to running a spiritual business to living a completely spiritual life. Like I didn't even know those were a thing. I had no idea those could be a thing and that you could actually support yourself and other people and give by living that spiritual life. And today I realized that my purpose here is to help people not to fulfill their purpose, but to teach them to see their own potential. Because most of us are not taught to see our own potential. And we will never see our own full potential without the right tools. And so I have not created any outline around this. I have not created any scripts around this. I am jumping on today to tell you that I am going to host a live coaching, a live group coaching with whoever wants to join so that we can all see our full potential with the help of other people. And this is gonna be scary for a lot of us because what it's gonna do is it's gonna show, we're gonna to have to show up authentically and we're gonna to have to let our layers go and we're gonna to have to be a bit vulnerable because the way that I'm envisioning it now is we have someone on the other end and we all get to know each other a little bit, everybody talks, everybody shares a little bit of their story and then we have three to five people tell this person what they see in them. And I've seen this exercise done and it is shocking. I actually had a client recently tell me that she had a similar, she did a similar exercise and was shocked and in tears by the things that people saw in her that she did not see in herself. So you guys, I don't know yet exactly how this is going to look, but I know that we are going to do a group coaching as big as it needs to be, and we are going to help each other to see the potential that they have in themselves. And I hope you will join me on this. I'm gonna start it, I think, at the beginning of next month. Again, I haven't planned anything. This just happened and I never ever in the history of Ashley Strong has she jumped on and done something so impulsively. I plan everything. I prep everything. Everything's two, three months ahead. Everything's written before I say a word to anyone. Not this time. This time I'm feeling it pulled from my heart. This time I'm following Spirit's guidance. I'm following their message and I'm stepping into my purpose, which is to help you to see your full potential. I hope you'll join me. I hope this has inspired you to take notes of who you are, what you want, and hopefully see something in yourself that you didn't see before. I'll talk soon. <laughs>